Choosing between a Windows computer and a Mac can be a tough decision. Some users think they'll be giving up features or apps they enjoyed on Windows when making the switch to Mac. Luckily, you can have the best of both worlds by running Windows on a Mac. Now why would you want to run Windows on an Apple machine in the first place? First of all, there's quite a large number of programs and apps that only work on Windows, especially professional software. If you're a gamer, you can't go without Windows, since the selection of games on macOS is extremely limited. So why not just buy a Windows computer? Well, Apple computers are known for their reliability, and they hold their value very well compared to PCs. Some people still buy used Apple laptops that are a few years old. That's almost unheard of for Windows laptops. For this video, we'll be using Apple's built-in bootcamp assistant to install Windows for free. While using this method is easy, it forces you to restart your Mac whenever you want to access Windows. There's another option with Parallels Desktop, which allows you to switch back and forth without having to reboot, but that option comes with an annual subscription. Before we begin installing Windows using Boot Camp, make sure you're on an Intel-based Mac, have at least 55GB of free disk space on your startup drive, and make sure to back up all your data. For an in-depth tutorial on all the ways you can back up your data, click the card above. The first thing we need is a Windows Disk Image, or ISO. Use Google to search and find the Download Windows 10 ISO file page. Once there, select Windows 10 and hit Confirm. Then choose your language. Now choose 64-bit unless you're running an older Mac that only supports 32-bit. If you're not sure, click the Apple logo at the upper left-hand corner of the screen and select About This Mac. If it says Core Duo in the Processor section, then your Mac is 32-bit. If you're running OS X El Capitan 10.11 or later, Windows installation is going to be a breeze, since those models use the internal drive to temporarily store Windows installation files. If not, you'll need to insert a blank 16GB or larger USB flash drive or external SSD to complete the installation. Once your ISO file is done downloading, open Spotlight Search or Launchpad and search and open Boot Camp Assistant. Click Continue, then click Choose. Now select your newly downloaded ISO file and adjust the size of your Windows partition. You should make it larger if you plan on downloading and playing games on it. If you're on an older Mac, you'll instead see some options to create an install disk and download the latest Windows support software. Make sure all of them are checked, then click Continue. Now choose your ISO image file and the destination disk, which is your USB flash drive. Then click Continue, choose the partition size for Windows 10, and click Install. If you're running Sierra or later software, you may be missing the option to make Windows 10 install media from a flash drive. In that case, it gets a lot more complicated, but it's still possible. We wrote a full how-to article which you can check out by clicking the card above. If you receive an error message during the bootcamp installation, we have a few fixes, including turning off any time machine backups, turning off the file vault, and purging snapshots. You can also check that out by clicking the card above. If everything was successful, the system will ask for your password. Make sure to save any important documents or files, as your Mac will instantly restart into Windows once you enter your password. After the reboot, you'll be greeted with the Windows Setup menu. If your mouse isn't working, click a couple of times and the mouse pointer should show up. Click Next, then enter your Windows 10 activation key if you have it. If you don't have one yet, click I don't have a product key. In that case, choose which version of Windows 10 you want to install. We chose Windows 10 Home. Accept the terms and click Next to begin the installation. When it's finished, Windows will automatically restart and bring you through the rest of the installation. Once at the Windows desktop, the Boot Camp installation program will show up. This will install all the necessary drivers for Windows to run properly. Your system will restart one more time and then Windows is ready for use. To get back to Mac OS, find Boot Camp at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Right click on it and click Restart in Mac OS. If you get an error message, don't worry. Just restart your system while holding down the Option key. You will then be able to choose which operating system to start up in. To get back to Windows from Mac OS, you can either use the Restart while holding the Option key method, or you can use Spotlight Search to open the Startup Disk settings. Click the lock and enter your password to unlock the settings, then click on Boot Camp and click Restart. Your system will now boot into Windows. If you want to completely remove the Boot Camp partition, Open Boot Camp Assistant again and click Restore. Just remember that it'll delete all data and contents within the Windows partition. And there you have it. That's how to get Windows and Mac. Leave a comment below if this video helped you out. This has been Vadim with Apple Insider, and we'll see you in the next video.